Capture the light. That's the battle cry for these latest devices from Realme. With the first ever Plus variant to ever grace Realme's numbered series, the Realme 9 Pro Plus has a lot riding on its photochromatic shoulders. Hi, my name is Colin and welcome back again to Ungeek. In this episode, we are taking a look at Realme's latest top-of-the-line mid-range smartphone, the Realme 9 Pro Plus, a photographer enthusiast ideal companion. Launched simultaneously with the Realme 9 Pro, a more lifestyle-oriented device, we are diving deeper into what makes the Realme 9 Pro Plus a handy tool, especially if you love taking nighttime or low-life photography. These are five things we absolutely love about the Realme 9 Pro Plus. While well, Capture the Light is the official hashtag used for both the Realme 9 Pro and the Realme 9 Pro Plus, only the Plus version, in our opinion, has what it takes to truly maximize what you can do with low-light photography on a mid-range Realme smartphone. This is despite having a slightly lower main camera megapixel count, from 64MP on the Realme 9 Pro down to 50 on the Realme 9 Pro Plus. The secret ingredient in all of this is Realme's usage of the Sony IMX766 flagship camera sensor, a first to be used on a phone for this price point. A camera sensor once reserved for flagship phones, Realme is bringing this to a wider audience by attaching it to the Realme 9 Pro Plus. The Sony IMX766 sensor coupled with the f1.8 aperture allows more light in for dimmer situations. This makes the camera setup ideal for low-light photography. However, the problem with opening the camera aperture more is that it's prone to noise when the lens moves. This is where point 2 comes in. Here's the thing, I actually took a couple of units of photography in college, but was I ever any good at it? No. And part of that is because I have absolutely jittery hands. Now photography is all about capturing light, but if you really want to take beautiful shots of say speed lines or freezing something in time, you really want to keep your camera as steady as possible with the right camera setting as well, whether that's an aperture or the right ISO. Thankfully, technology has advanced particularly for smartphone cameras and these three little letters. OIS or Optical Image Stabilization. It's a hardware technology where you suspend the lens of the camera on either wires or coils so that it distributes the shakes and tensions when taking photos. This creates steadier shots than without one. It's like a mini gimbal equipped on your smartphone. Honestly, it's just great to see this OIS feature in a mid-range phone. Most image stabilization used for mid-range devices are just EIS or software-based. The Realme 9 Pro Plus? Well, it's equipped with both OIS and EIS giving you excellent stabilization when taking long exposure photos. Check out these sample shots. Creating long exposure shots are made easier and more intuitive with the Realme 9 Pro Plus. If you want to tinker with the lenses themselves, you can go Pro Mode. In fact, what I truly appreciate of the Realme 9 Pro series is its ability to do manual Pro Mode on both still photography and video. While the tech itself isn't necessarily new, the interface on the new Realme UI 3.0 makes it so fluid and intuitive that you can shift focus, ISO, and aperture on the fly. In the hands of a seasoned cinematographer, they could do so much with this phone. Aside from the physical hardware upgrade on the Pro Plus, we also get a host of fun photography apps for us to unleash our creativity to the fullest. One of the new modes that caught our attention is Street Photography Mode 2.0, where you can do smart long exposure with easy presets for you to choose from, depending on what you want to achieve. You can blur the busy foreground and keep your subject still with a rough R setting, or play with lights using Neon Trail, Light Trail Portrait, and Light Painting. There's also a zany 90s pop filter mode. Of course, if you just want to capture gorgeous portraits, there's the bokeh portrait filter as well. Now to fully appreciate the photos you've taken, you have to have a good monitor to display your works of art, right? Thankfully, the Realme 9 Pro Plus comes with a 6.6-inch AMOLED display with 90Hz refresh rate. With a display like this, your shots are represented in the best way possible. Plus, it's just gorgeous to watch movies with this. But even with 90Hz refresh rate, having a mid-range with Super AMOLED isn't necessarily new. You know what's new? The haptic feedback that you can get with the Realme 9 Pro Plus and an under-display heart rate monitor. Wait, what? Yup, a heart rate monitor. If you want a quick check of your heart rate even without strapping on a Realme watch, the Realme 9 Pro Plus can check your pulse for you. Simply go to the app and keep your thumb on the designated area and voila, heart rate red. 
This also means that the Realme 9 Pro Plus has an under-display fingerprint scanner for better security. Take note that the under-display sensor is usually reserved for flagship devices. We're just superbly happy that we're getting it for this market segment. And finally, to round everything off, we're happy to know that the Realme 9 Pro Plus is one of the first, if not the first smartphone to make use of the upper mid-range 5G chipset from MediaTek, the MediaTek Dimensity 925G. Pumping a bit more power than its predecessor, this latest 6 nanometer chipset for upper mid-range phones builds upon the success of MediaTek Dimensity 905G. With the MediaTek Dimensity 925G chipset, users can reportedly photograph up to 35% more details versus previous generation. Aside from that, the MediaTek Dimensity 920 also offers up to 9% faster gaming performance over the Dimensity 900. That's why playing games are snappier, and coupled with the 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage on the Realme 9 Pro Plus, you have a killer combo here. The Realme 9 Pro Plus also has a vapor cooling chamber to help you with long gaming hours. Speaking of long gaming hours, this smartphone is equipped with 4,500 milliamp hours of battery with a flagship-like 60-watt Super Dart charger. There's a lot to be said with the Realme 9 Pro Plus, so it's best to check our full review once it's up on the website, because honestly, this phone is something else. Do take note also that the sunrise blue colorway of the Realme 9 Pro Plus changes colors under the sun or under extreme UV light. It's wild! Anyway, that's all for this episode. Do let us know your thoughts on the Realme 9 Pro Plus. Are the features listed here worth the price tag of 23,990 pesos? Remember, if you do get this during the pre-order period, you can get a bunch of freebies and discounts as well. I believe if you do pre-order the Realme 9 Pro Plus over at Lazada from March 16 to 18, you actually can get this for 21,490, effectively slashing off around 2,500 pesos. Not bad. Anyway, my name is Colin and if you like this episode, do give us a thumbs up, share this with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Just click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well so you know when we come up with a new video. I will see you guys on the next one, okay? Guys, please keep safe, keep healthy, and above all else, keep on gaming. Bye-bye, guys.